Hello, this is Stephen Withrow with Webicator. In this video, I'm going to show you a solution Parveen Kumar came up with for Apache, add basic authentication to a location or directory. Parveen agreed to let us create this video showing his solution, which is available as an article here on his blog at the URL shown here. Adding basic authentication to a location or a directory is a very important aspect of securing Apache. Parveen provides an example of a location container. Here the location is referenced as slash internal. This is the path on the URL that will be provided from the browser. This corresponds to a folder under the document root. Usually the document root is ver www html. Notice the reference to the basic authentication type. Other authentication types are possible, for example digest. With basic the password will be sent in clear text over the wire. Also notice the authentication user file. This is the file that contains the user ID and passwords that we will set up using the HT password tool. The author provides us an example of using HT password. The hyphen lowercase c indicates that we wish to create the authentication file. AWS TATS is the user ID that Parveen is going to add to the authentication file. When an attempt is made to access the internal folder under the document root, a dialog box will challenge the user for credentials. Inspired by Parveen's blog, I have reproduced his example on Ubuntu. I have created a folder called internal under the document root, ver www.html. In the internal folder, I have placed one HTML file index.html. In my configuration file, apache2.conf, I have coded the location container referencing the internal folder. This will also specify the URL that we expect to be provided by the user at the browser. Notice the auth type of basic the auth name Apache Security Team. This will appear in the dialog box. Also, I reference the file of credentials I have created previously using HT password as illustrated by Parveen. Require valid user indicates that user credentials have to be provided in order to view the contents of the folder. In this case I have a sample web page as I pointed out earlier. Don't forget to install the Apache 2 utilities that contains the HT password binary. In Ubuntu I can use app git in order to perform this task. In my browser I will now specify the URL for the web page that is secured. Notice that I am challenged with a dialog box. I will provide the user ID and the password that I have established previously using the HT password tool. And now I am able to view the web page stored in the internal folder. Thanks again to Parveen for the inspiration for this video. Check out his blog at the URL shown here for other articles related to web development and JavaScript.